Welcome to the Doggo Bake Show. I'm your host, Joanne Cabarus. We're gonna be sculpting dogs with polymer clay using minimal tools and lots of imagination. Come on in. Hello, hello. It's another Friday and I will be creating another dog just for you. Today's episode is... Scottish Terrier. Scottish Terrier. Happy birthday, Scotty. I baked you a homemade cake. I thought you'd forget my birthday again. Of course not. Something happened to me last year and I just couldn't make it. Okay, well you have to tell me that story sometime. Okay. I have to go up and talk to Joanne. I'll bring her a slice of your cake. Thanks, buddy. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is amazing. Thank you, Scotty. This is so good, Scotty. You should try it. Frenchie did a great job. Wow. Oh, I'm not a big fan of cheesecake. It's all right, though. Oh, my God, what do you mean? This is amazing. You want to try it? Here. Mm. Oh, come on. This is so good. Well, Scotty, I'm going to take a break from this, okay? This is a lot of sugar. I still need to be able to focus teaching everybody about creating your friend. Sounds good. All right, I'm going to set this aside and let's start. Preparation. We will use some black yarns, brush in baby oil, and any stick with a rounded tip. You'll also need toothpicks for stability and texturing. And of course, the polymer clay. Doggo Bake Show, Doggo Bake Books. And the Scottish Terrier will be found in Doggo Bake 3. The Doggo Bake 3 will show you a step-by-step -step instruction on how to create 20 dog breeds. Start by kneading your clay and form the general shapes for the body parts of the dog. Use one toothpick for the head and one toothpick for the neck. For forming the ears, it's up to you what color of polymer clay you'd like for the inner part. Little balls for the eyes and the nose. Prepare four sets of yarn, having their middle part knotted. The more strands of yarn you apply, the hairier it gets. Separate the twirling of the yarn by combing it with a toothpick and pull the excess out. Now let's put all the body parts together, yes! If you want the dog's head to tilt sideways, this is the perfect time to do that. Keep blending the clay and attach all the small parts in place. For the nose, it's up to you if you want it more detailed or not. When you attach the ears, make sure they are upright. Because for the Scottish Terrier, they're usually big and upright. Then attach the eyes. Texture the clay with a toothpick and poke holes on the clay where you're gonna apply the knotted yarn. After everything is formed, the last piece will be the tail. Ta-da! Now it's ready for baking! But wait, you're not done yet. We will smoothen the surface of the clay with a brush and baby oil. Let's make sure everything is good. Now this is how it looks like when it's formed. So, what do you think? I put bigger eyes in there. That's just what I what I created today. I made it I made the eyes a little bigger to have some kind of character. The eyes are going to be covered with hair anyway. So that's fine. You can use any kind of color. I chose the color gold because it pops out from the black. Now we are gonna bake it. Always remember this. Never, never put the yarn on the fresh sculpture before baking. It could burn in the oven. I'm gonna put little Scottish Terrier in the toaster oven and as you can see it fits. Okay, he is inside now. 
we're gonna set it 250 to 275 is acceptable and then always set it to bake 30 minutes well while waiting for the sculpture to finish baking I have a little fun piece of information for you do you know that the length of your forearms are the same as the length of your feet mm -hmm. in America January 23rd is National Measure Your Feet Day. And this is how I'm going to measure my feet. Forearm and feet. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> so from here to here, that's the length of your foot. Oops, it's done. All right, gotta go down. <sighs> With a super glue clear gel, you will use this to secure all the yarn in place. Start trimming the yarn one layer at a time. Comb the layers of the fur from the bottom to the top. And you can now start grooming this dog. To prevent the fur from fanning out, you can secure the fur underneath by putting dabs of clear gel super glue. Oh, that's a beard. Were you able to follow that? That was very easy, right? The most important thing with Scottish Terrier is the face. It's how you groom the yarn. My suggestion is use this kind of scissors. This is the type of scissors that they use for the barbers or salon. It will help you cut the fur precisely. But it's up to you if you want to put legs on them. You can just follow the steps from the other dog breeds. Learning how to create these dog sculptures will give you an opportunity to spend time with your family and friends. A family that scopes together has fun together, right? Please help me spread the word of the Doggo Bake Show to your family and friends and subscribe to my channel so I can notify you right away when the next video is gonna come out. See you again next Friday for another dog. Scotty, mm. Scotty, this is so good, Scotty. <laughs>